Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm gonna be reacting a video of Serena James. Well, Serena, um, and the video is called The True Purpose of a Fall of Twin Flame. So here we go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena and today I'm sharing with you the purpose of a false twin flame and everything you need to know. So of course, disclaimer, this is always coming from my own personal perspective on what I experienced as a false twin flame. And now I had two different iterations of this within my own lifetime. So you may have more than one false twin, you may only have one false twin. For me, one of my first um, false twin relationships was actually <laughs> intertwined with my karmic uh, relationship, who was also what I believed was my twin flame. Um, and so the, the idea here, the... You know, it's funny the way she said it, because in my experience with a false twin he was sort of like a replica of like my my first like my karmic there were like similarities between them in terms of the the appearance even like the characteristics you know their personality like your false twin can be a replica of your comic a uh, karmic which is hilarious to me so the purpose of a false twin relationship is to assess. It's to assess if you are ready for your real twin flame. Um, no. The purpose of a false twin is actually quite the opposite because they hinder your progress in your life. They they come and destroy you even spiritually and to prevent you from reuniting with your actual twin flame they actually don't help you grow but they just keep distracting you from what you're supposed to do in life so up until this point in our lives, we have preconceived ideas of what our perfect person is going to look like, right? We have preconceived ideas of how they're going to act, what they're going to be interested in, what we think is valuable, what we want in a partner. And a lot of that is actually out of alignment with who we really are. So the false twin enters. And this false twin is there because this false twin is like testing us. They have agreed previous to this lifetime to come in, you know, kind of dabble or disrupt our life a little. No, actually in previous lifetimes, we are actually, man we are manipulated to agree to this karmic terms. We are being manipulated to sign up to sign up for these karmic issues that we're gonna face when truly in reality we actually don't deserve it you know and you can't blame yourself for it because it's not our fault for the purpose of checking to see if we are ready for the twin flame relationship twin for a true twin flame it's not gonna be exactly the same as the false twin flame a false twin flame is gonna be karmic there will be some sort of karmic issues all right it will be like separation and triggering um like false spiritual awakening they, they hinder your progress in life there is no there is no growth there is there is no consciousness unity divinity in this type of connection but with your true twin there is growth there is union 
falls to in flames don't help you prepare. They prevent you from reuniting with your true twin. Oftentimes, we are not. That's why it's a false twin. Because if we were ready for it, we'd be in our real twin relationship. So when you're meeting the false twin, I feel like a lot of times this is misconstrued as a very negative thing. But we actually need to start looking at this as a positive. If you have met your false twin, that means you're on the right path. There's nothing positive about false twin. Because most of the time... They are just toxic and abusive. They serve as a distraction to your life. And most of these people that end up with false twins are stuck in an unrequited love situation. And to me, that is just not helpful. It's just toxic. That means your evolution is still churning and still turning away and the wheels are still ticking, right? That's a good thing. This is good because when we meet our false twin, it signals to us that we have a real twin out there, right? You can't have one without the other. You can't have a real twin without a false twin. We live in a world of duality. So if you have a false twin and you know... <laughs> this is what I don't agree with. Yes, we live in a world of duality. But they were sent to us to prevent us from re reuniting with our true twin. And to be honest, it's not the only way to find out that you have a true twin. And a lot of people, if not, they end up with even more than one false twin flame. But yet, they didn't get to meet their true twin at the end <laughs> you know twin flames are actually very rare not all people end up with a true twin and the chances of ending up with a true twin is you know maybe unlikely you can just end up with a soulmate like higher vibe soulmate if it wasn't like a twin flame could be just a soulmate someone you're supposed to be with for the rest of your life like long-term commitment it doesn't have to be a twin flame like it's very rare so yeah you've met your false twin then chances are and you know, reality would have it that there's a real twin out there for you somewhere and you just maybe haven't met them yet. Um, and so the idea here with the false twin is they're here to assess whether you are ready. And when you meet this false twin, you're likely going to have some of the same, um, you know, preconceived ideas or preconceived judgments that you might have towards your real twin. They're meant to be similar, um, not exactly the same, but similar in ways that would trigger you and make you say like, oh, they're not good enough or they're, you know, they're, they're not nice or they're too narcissistic yeah, it, it is or maybe true. they're too nice. You know, whatever that looks like for you based on your idea of what a partner should be. So I can give you an example. When I met my false twin, it was actually somebody I had met back in my college years. Um, and it was somebody I had a crush on, but my other friend was with this person at the time. So I never acted on this, right? Um, so this person was kind of always there in the background. And then we had this big separation stage of basically, um, you know, I think maybe three or four years. And then I was traveling and I was coming through this person's area and I was like, oh, hey, what's up? Can I come stay with you? Um, because it was one of those things that I always had this person at the back of my mind and I needed to know if there was a potential there. So for me, it was like, okay, let's make this happen. Let's see. And when I met... Like, after four years, there's like a big separation and... <laughs> Wow, like, 
if the separation went to, went for too long, if that person is not investing in you, you're just gonna move on. But somehow still like bump into that person after a while. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bit strange to me, but whatever. With this person, it was like, you know, their star sign is the same as my partner, my twin, my true twin flame star sign. They're both Scorpios. Um, <laughs> they both like surfing, uh, skateboarding, snowboarding, you know, a lot of these like balance type things. Um, they're both of their names start with a J. So, oh, oh my God, like, like my karmic and my false twin is <laughs> they both like share the same first letter so like i understand what what she's trying to tell here yes they there may be some similarities but you mean your false twin is like a repli replication of your karmic and it's it's just like you're gonna go through the same cycle again and like you've you've you know you've moved on from like your karmic and and then you meet your twin flame and it's like <laughs> you're gonna deal with this again no this is just to make you suffer like <laughs> nothing else it is just to put you in this a uh, karmic wheel you know, like all of these really interest, interesting synchronicities and coincidences. <laughs> so you might find with your false twin that if you've already passed that relationship, that there's a lot of similarities between the personalities oh of your God. false twin <laughs> and your true twin. And so if, you, if there's something you are seeing in your false twin that you're not like... Your true twin is not going to be toxic as your false twin. <laughs> No, just your true twin is gonna mirror you just to be clear, not your false twin. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna mirror you the present version of you, the version that you are today. That's your twin. Thinking know that that's actually because you need to change your ideals about what you think is right or wrong in that person, right? Um, and maybe it's that you need to love yourself more. Maybe it's that you need to stop accepting narcissistic behaviors. Maybe it's that you need to stop okay. being so codependent. Maybe, you know, we could go on and on and on with the list. But the idea here is that when you meet this person, it's going to trigger you to say, Ooh, no, I don't think I'm ready for this relationship, essentially. Generally speaking, that's how it's going to end. And they may end it or you may end it. It doesn't necessarily have to be one or the other. No, they're actually not ready <laughs> for you. But, okay, I can see what she's trying to explain here. But with a false twin... It will, it will just be unrequited, and essentially, since you're the conscious twin, you're, you're actually going to be wanting more from this relationship, and they're not giving it to you. You guys will be pol polar opposites. They're going to be misalignment, and it's not going to work out. It may just be life circumstances that ends it. So for me, it was like I saw this person and I met them and I realized like mm, they don't really have their life together in the way that I need. They're not their masculine is not as developed as how I would need it to be in order to get where I'm going in life. So you may feel the same way when you meet your false twin, that, that they aren't ready. But it's also because you aren't ready. You know, you aren't ready to settle down yet, or you aren't ready to um, accept those aspects of yourself. And so that's exactly what happened to me. Is Hmm. Maybe it applies to her and her situation, but for some, 
other people is not I mean when they when you love someone you're like ready you're ready to give them everything that you have but for you as a conscious twin you actually have everything that they don't have which is uh which is sorry <laughs> my accent is too which is compassion kindness you're just selfless and you know caring and they can't even off offer that you know they can offer love unconditional love that you have for them it signaled to me like okay yes that's a potential option but I'm not ready for that. So that's when I met my false twin before my karmic partner. And so then that's when I was going into the relationship with my karmic partner. What? <laughs> okay, like, this is something new to me. I mean, how can you... What? How can you meet false twin twin and then your karmic... What? I, I don't get it. Like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Okay, this is weird. Which spurred an incredible amount of, you know, growth and transformation and really hard toxic lessons because I needed that fire and that fuel and I needed to understand what it was like to be with this person so that I could shed all of that and really be ready for my twin. And I could really once and for all get through those lessons. And that's what it's all about in terms of a karmic partner. It's about breaking those cycles and starting over fresh from a more conscious creatorhood place. So I hope this helped you guys. If you're looking for more information on the false twin, comment below any questions that you may have. I will help you the best that I can. If you're looking for more one-on-one -on -one help. Yep. So this Serena, yeah, she did uh, make a good video.